Alright, so happy Thanksgiving you guys. Today what we are going to do is we are going to do a test and versus with the quarter inch hex heart against the quarter inch hex Ryobi. Now the model number for the Ryobi is P237 and the model number for the heart is HP1 D I oh sorry HP ID01. So the RPMs is 0 to 2500 and the impacts per minute is 0 to 3200. And the uh, the RPMs for this is 0 to 3200 and the impacts per minute is 0 to 3400. So we are going to do a versus video between these. So we are going to do uh, 1.5 versus 1.5. That sucks. They're both variable speed trigger, but this one has a speed option between one, two, and three. We're gonna do a versus video between these two and see which one prevails. And then what we're gonna do, just for the hell of it, we are gonna see if this could take off a lug nut. All right, so both have a 1.5 amp hour battery. Both are fully charged. Unfortunately, the heart does not have a fuel gauge on it, but they are good to go. Uh, both are brushed. Uh, so yeah, this one has a three-speed uh, three-speed selection. Uh, the heart is just a variable trigger. So what we are going to do is we are going to first do some five-inch specs, and then we're going to move on to uh, ten-inch timber screws, and then we're going to move to the what size is this? Five-inch uh, half-inch lag screws. First, we are going to do heart. All right, so three, two, one. Go. There we go. That is that. All right. So next we are going to do the Ryobi on speed three. So I think we're good to go. All right. So three, two, one, go. Done. Now, like I said, I, in every video, I do not know what the time is. We're going to find out the time in the in the edit of the video. So we're, we're going to do two 10-inch Timberlock screws each. First one that's going to be up is the heart. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. We're going to do one more. Start a little bit. There we go. Three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, so next is the Ryobi. Do it right here. All right, so start it a little bit. There we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. Ryobi uh, took a longer time to do than the heart did. Now, I just wanted to remind you guys, this is a brand new model. This is not. So this one is a very old motor and designed for this impact. They do have an updated version. It is right here, but we're not testing it for, uh, against this one. All right, so we got one more. Do it right here. Put it in a little bit. All right, so three, two, one, go. That one went in a little bit faster, but very good. All right, so now we are gonna actually both of these out at the same time, see which one wins. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. 
Right, we got that one. Let's do another one. All right, we're going to do this one individually. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's Ryobi. Time for heart. Three, two, one, go. And there you go. All right, so let's see how heart handles with this. Three, two, one, go. All right, time for Ryobi. Three, two, one, go. It seems like Ryobi's a little quieter too. Alrighty, so it is time. And for this, I use my Tac Life Impact Rated Sockets. Alright, so we are going to do a heart first. Five inch. Uh, we'll go right here. All right, we are good to go. So three, two, one, go. And that is that. Alrighty, it is Ryobi's time. Alright, we got our five inch. Do it right there. Speed three. What's the battery at? 75%, which the tech off. Uh, heart should be the same thing. Alright, so three, two, one. There we go. Done. Neither of them did too bad. All right, so heart's gonna take its lag nut out. All right, so three, two, one. There you go. Hey, I, I'm not going to lie, no matter what the results, I'm uh, just impressed that it's able to take that out. With a 1.5 amp hour battery. Alright, so, Ryobi's turn. Alright, so three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, and just for the heck of it, I want to do that one more time with Ryobi's most recent brushed uh, impact. 1.5 amp hour battery as well. No advantages. We're gonna time this. We're gonna do one, uh, one right here. Same thing, uh, variables, variable speed only, no speed settings. All right, so three, two, one. Go. There we go. All right, let's take it out. Three, two, one, go. Very good. 
time. It did, it did do a bad job. So I just want to throw that in there just to see because this is the most recent brushed impact that uh, Ryobi makes. So just to equal it out to this. So I, I was just curious. And the last thing we are going to test out, which I, I forgot about. So we are going to see if the heart can take out a lug nut. All right, so let's see. Reverse. All right, so three, two, one, go. It cannot. Now let's see if the Ryobi one can. All right, so three, two, one, go. No, they cannot. Neither of these can take out a lug nut. Yeah, those, those are on there good. The P261 put those on. So yeah, it cannot take out lug nuts. I'm not gonna lie, the heart performed uh, better than I thought it would, especially with the 1.5 amp hour battery. Uh, but at the same time, this is a new model compared to the Ryobi, which this model is many, many, many years old. It's the same technology, it's not updated. Uh, so yeah, this is like a six or seven year old or even more uh, impact driver you know it's brand it's uh i bought it brand new but this is not an updated version and this one is so technically this one should win but yeah but i'm not gonna lie the heart didn't do that bad of a job and so yeah so it's uh those are the results i hope you guys had fun watching it plenty of more versus videos coming up and uh i do hope you guys have a happy thanksgiving so that's pretty much it so this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time